Olympics. Yeah. That's big. <laughs> How was it? No, it was amazing. Like I've got the classic answer just because so many people have asked, but um, yeah. no, it was awesome. Like obviously gutting, like anywhere but fourth, like the second time yeah. out, do you know what I mean? Um, but no, the, the whole experience was quite like class and never expected to be there. Like I kind of snuck in the back door a little bit. Um, yeah, and then just to get selected and to actually do it was mad. So there's a few Harpy awesome. girls there, or like oh, recent Harpy girls, a few old ones. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Abby was year below me. Was she? Obviously, she's gone. Yeah. To really? the top. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see people. You were there. Who were you there? Though, I was. So my year is Bianca. Yeah. Um, Tat. Awesome. Those girls. She's so my housemate. Tat. Is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> like she was A levels of us, and then. She would like, to be fair, she was like one of the lads with our rugby lads. Yeah. How many of those do you still like stay in touch with in that bit? Well, we see like, playing? see the ones that are working. Um, and then a lot of our boys from my year didn't end up. So we had a few that sort of half made it, you know, had their like first year in the academy. Yeah, yeah. And now they all just sort of play socially, yeah. which is, but my like, my group of lads from, from college were still WhatsApp group. We still try and meet up Christmas every year oh. and in the summer, which is, you know, it's like people from Harbury, yeah. it's, you, once you go there, you don't forget it. Yeah. So uh, you still still try and keep oh, keep going. so true. Yeah, I think there was seven of us from college. Like, obviously, oh, North, wow. Dan Norton as well, from the men's side. And then yeah. there was, like, Abby Burton, Alex, Ab, Meg, Polly, me. All like, been through. All been through the college. It's like, mad, I was there for netball, not rugby. Was you? Yeah. yeah you didn't back, even, back in the and then changed? Yeah, and then changed, like... Um, when I was 18, kind of made the switch across. Like, played a little bit of rugby before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, net, I was in the network academy at Harbury. Why did you change? Um, just got a bit bored of it. Like, was training four times a week. Like, yeah. you know, I was like playing two yeah, games. Yeah. Um, and then they kind of like split our team up that we'd kind of built up through the leagues with and stuff, playing for Hucklecoat. And um, yeah, I just wanted a new change. Like, wanted a fresh challenge and came into rugby. And then, like, literally, my first year of rugby. Made the made the England trials and then they put me into under twenty trials and made that squad. Nice. So it was like well yeah. and like mental. Um, but yeah, so that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Cool. There's a lot. Of, I always get like the stat whenever we play, like the Harpy boys that have played for England as well now, and it's it's becoming like silly. I think yeah. like, the amount of boys that could be in one team that all went to Harpy is yeah. the same with the women as well. Like yeah. how many girls go through there that have been close to the college yeah. or know something about it. It's Mad. It shows that that affiliation is working. Oh, 100%. Somewhere. And also that like feeder. So I know we have it as like Gloucester Heartbreak. Yeah. But you guys have it as well a little bit with Gloucester, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. Boys picked up and through like Venner. Yeah. Through yeah, yeah. Those guys like even recently as last year like Seb Nabel Taylor. Yeah. Who we needed a back row because obviously Jake had his injury. First, like look across the road. Yeah. Can he do it? And we're like yeah, Seb's the best back row. Okay, so we will have him on trial. Four weeks later, he's got a contract. And now he's Crazy, sort of yeah. down the line. He's he's a Gloucester player now, not a not a Harvey player, which yeah. is which is great. He's he never ended. Like he's 26. He yeah. thought he was, you know, he's sort of playing for Harbury for forever. Mm -hmm. Now he's got that little step up again. It's it's nice to see that still can happen. Yeah, hundred percent, especially at that age. Is yeah. it true he can Turkish get up with like 50 kilograms above his head? So yeah. they wouldn't be surprised yet. He's the strongest man I've ever seen. Really? Yeah, he's a freak. As he? He's like. And he's super flexible, get his legs like on his head, and put his arms around <laughs> no, his back. Yeah, it's ridiculous. He's a big guy to do that. Yeah, he's rapid. He's everything you'd want in an athlete. Yeah. You, you like what have you been doing your whole life because you're a freak. As it. And he's he's coming back from injury now and like people in the gym are like, you you have to, have to stop now because that's too much weight, you're gonna hurt <laughs> yourself. He's like, no, 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 it's fine. I like, just doesn't even know he's that strong. As it. Just very humble about it. Like yeah. it, it's good. He's a, good, he's a good player as well, which yeah. is nice, and a good lad. Which he is, seems like a good guy. Which is obviously key. Yeah, 100%. Which is good. What about your summer? My like, summer was, was good, good, really good. Yeah, yeah. So, straight as a captain, how was that? It was, it was odd. Like, yeah. I didn't think it would ever happen like that. Um, never really thought I'd play for England, to be honest. It was one of those that a lot of people ask you, obviously, like, back rows in England are ridiculous. Um, if there ever was a summer where I might have got a chance, it would have been this one with guys over the Lions. And then when when they started mentioning sort of leadership roles and, and captaincy, it was all it was all very strange. Um, you kind of I don't know because it was such a new squad. Yeah. Like obviously, everyone on there was there was only I think five players with double figure caps, so it was 
it was really strange seeing those guys up there and then being told to sort of lead them as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, running out of Twickenham with with some fans there, which was nice. And I was saying to these guys before, like, I looked up from the anthems and saw my daughter in the crowd. Oh, and then that was the one where I was like, <laughs> I, like I'll look down here because if I carry on looking, I'm going to cry. Yeah. Um, but it's not again with like Genji. Obviously, we we were saying you're at Hartbury like got on really well. He was uh, my captain at Hartbury. Um, it was between me and him and Alan gave it to him and I was vice captain so it was like it was nice to be we were similar roles at England. Like he was in the leadership group as well. And like how we'd both changed so much but then come back to like that at the end yeah. of it. It was it was nice. Oh, it was that's good. Class. But what it was, was your highlight? mental highlight of the summer. Probably ran out for that first game. Yeah. Like listen to everything 10,000 people we hadn't we hadn't experienced that for so long and to, to experience that was just I'd hate to think what a full Twickenham's like because it was that was loud enough and that was like freaky enough yeah. um, but that was definitely the highlight yeah the training was not a highlight it was it was horrific <laughs> 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 oh, it was awful why so bad it's just I think because you grew up there like everyone up there was new yeah. everyone wanted to make such a good impression it was like another level step up and then everyone sort of gone again. It was the end of an 18 month season, so our body was That's hanging on. Um, but like you look back on it and you think, I've made it, like you made it through. You survived and, it's, and you've got your caps, it's yeah. sort of a job done. But yeah, it is, like everyone says it's tough and it is, it is another step up, which obviously you, you know about, you've got plenty of caps yourself, so yeah. it's, it's all good. No, it is, it is. Like, it's just crazy. Like for me, when I go to England, it's like, the speed that the ball gets from one side of the field to the other. It's yeah. like we're good at Hartbury, like we're good at Gloucester. But to like this just the speed that it gets through the hands and that you have to now hit a breakdown on the far touch line. Like yeah. for me I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. For us it's for me it's probably contacts. Like we don't actually do a lot of contact training at Gloucester. Yeah. Whereas with England it's like almost every day was because yeah. everyone's trying to make an impression. Everything's so physical because you you just can't afford not to be in a game. Yeah. So then they want to train it like all the time. So that was the biggest thing, like recovery became massive for us. Um, they even brought like, because lads were so young and so new, they even brought like different recovery strategies in, like laid it out for you, like you boys have to recover because yeah. otherwise you won't be able to make the next session type thing. Did you find it good. worked? If it did work, yeah, we're actually, we're, we're trying to get them, well we are getting them at Gloucester now, so we've got saunas, ice baths all coming to be put into the change rooms and the new training facility so that we'll all be able to yeah. use that. I'm sure you guys will have to use yeah, that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> they, that's contact, the affiliation yeah. is there. It's, it's sure. So, captain yeah. this year? Yeah. Looking forward to it? Yeah, no, it's been cool. Like, I think this is third season now. Um, can't really remember, but yeah. it's just a great group of girls. Like, you know what it's like? Like, you don't feel like it's that added responsibility other than Lenny, our coach, sometimes cheering my ear off about yeah. different bits. Um, like, the actual bit where you're, like, just with the girls. It's just, no different, is yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Like, they're more mates than they are like anything else and as long as for me it's all about that relationship like making sure that you look after each other and yeah like all of us do that so well that it just becomes easy any troublemakers um, nah not no? really to be oh, fair quite easy, yeah no it's not too bad like everyone's pretty much like gets their head down gets the work done but like there's a massive like vibe that we just enjoy everything we do yeah um which i think is so important and you almost lose sometimes i think when you get like more elite or more pressure comes on um, but I think we've got that nailed down at Gloss Harvey, so yeah, happy days. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, like Did it was, uh, not, I don't think we've got any anymore. Yeah. We had a few, um, but now we're- going to name them all? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I might, people probably know. Um, but no, we, we're good. Like, we're a very similar thing in, in terms of, we've got a group now that, you know, this is almost like Skivs' group now. So he understands his type of player and yeah. coming in for pre-season, it's, it's nice to come in and not have to, teach boys stuff yeah. you know we're coming in everyone's understanding how we want to play how we want to go about it similar thing like we very much want to be this close group that you meet like if you're playing for each other then I'm a firm believer that you're going to play better 100%. and that's it's similar what we tried to do with England in the summer like that was Eddie's big point of he wanted us as a group to play for each other because he hadn't thought that was what was coming yeah. before it um, so we can get that and then Crowds are back, so even at the weekend, like I wasn't out there, but it was like listening to the crowd as the boys ran round. It was like, right, that's exactly what we yeah. need. And we changed a few things in the warm up, 
when Skips first came, we moved back down like the other end of the pitch because it was closer to our, our run out. Now fans are back, we're going back up the far end so we get a full lap of the shed before we go in, which is obviously a big tradition for us yep. um, and making it something that's really powerful. And hopefully that thing has crossed over a good season. Oh, it's a different level, isn't it? I think you guys and Sandy Park for me are like the two that just massively like crowds make such an impact. Yeah, huge. We miss them a lot. That's one thing that I really want to experience before like finishing at Gloss Hartbury, like getting yeah. that shed full. That's what I was buckets. just saying to these guys. I think if you guys do it, you should play before. Yeah. You know, when you played afterwards, yeah, like yeah. people almost leave them. Yeah. I think you play before, then you get people turn up anywhere. Like I dropped the pizza box off on Saturday at half 11 and people were there at, at King's Own ready to go. Yeah. So if you if the game's on at one o'clock or something, I think there's no reason why it's, everyone's then feeling that same experience. Yeah. Almost like they did in the cricket, you know, the 100 with the, the yeah. women before the men. I think that worked really well. No, definitely. There's no, there's no like fans like Gloucester fans though, is there? No, they're, yeah. yeah. Good <laughs> so, and bad, good and bad. Yeah. There's, there's a few that are, are good and there's a few that are, are bad, but you know, at the end of the day, like the guys that run this place, the ones that care the most doesn't don't care what the score is. If yeah. you if you worked hard, yeah. they'll respect you. Yeah. And that's one of the things we actually spoke about this preseason that w the game against Bristol last year, um, obviously went down to 14 men quite early. We got a 30 points upon us, but it was the one game where Skibs had people coming up to him after the game saying that was the best game we've had all year. And he's like, what? We've lost. Like, we put 30 <laughs> points on us. And he's like getting emails, he's getting letters saying that no, the boys never give in, and that, that's all they want. Yeah. If you show them that, then they're happy. Yeah, hundred percent. That, that's all you can ask for, I think. No, definitely. That's something that we pride ourselves on as well. I think. Yeah. From a, from the girls' side as well, just like that never give in, like the gritty, like defensive effort. Sure, you all over that, wasn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Did you, did you I, coach I coached. He got. I played with him a little bit when did he you? was he was running around. You had that old age. And then. He, I think he, he was just on the edge of, and then um, it was like him, Steemo, all those boys. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And then it's nice to see him. He's done like a, a few different coaching roles now, hasn't he? Yeah. But from what I've been told, he's, he's a decent coach. So oh. it's nice to see him up there with having like a full on head coach's role, yeah. which is which is good. Oh, he's been like game changing for our programme. Like, yeah. and similar to you, like we've not had loads of people come in but we've kept a really similar squad so it's almost like just building through on what he's trying to do like this season from the last and yeah like about 84 nil at the weekend so yeah that's like, yeah good start that yeah. I, won't, I won't mind that start if <laughs> next was it two weeks away i won't mind that start that'd be lovely yeah. yeah, so how did gloucester become home when I was 16, yeah, came down um, to the college. I was like, back home, there was a few lads in our team that had gone to Saints, which is our local club, and I was nowhere near it, like, I was terrible. And they were like, Definitely. one of our coaches was like, if, like, if you want to give it a crack, like, cause I was like, I just want to play rugby. And it's like, go to this college. He'd been there. He actually played with Steemo and, and Lynn. Oh, right, yeah. And he was like, go there, like, this, th like, specifically for rugby. I was like, okay, well, I'll give it a go. Dad said I had to do A levels if I was going. I was like, I didn't really, I didn't want to do it. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. And then when, obviously when you get there, it's just, it's yeah. mental. Like we had four trials even before you came to college. Yeah. Like, so then that decided a pre-season team. So there's 40 lads on pre-season, first year, second year. And then it just sort of spiraled from there. It was, I got an email one day from Billy Clark, who was the academy manager, and said, do you mind coming down to Gloucester and like, taking a training session? And I was like, yeah, this is weird. And then, yeah, sort of went from there, just rolled through the 18s. We won, the best thing about Harper was that we won everything yeah. at like, under 18s. We didn't lose a game in two years. It That's was amazing. just, yeah, it's ridiculous. It was like four years in the Ace League, we didn't lose. Um, and then the year after us, they lost the first game. So everyone was like, sort of, shame on you. Yeah. Like, you've, you've ruined the reputation, it's no good. Um, so good. But then sort of became, yeah, adopted sort of Gloucester. Yeah. And I just loved the whole point. When I stood in the shed, when I was 16, with a few lads from college, everyone sort of spoke about it. I'd never known anything about Gloucester until then. I was like, this is great. Yeah. Like, I hadn't experienced anything, but you would have experienced <coughs> it with me, yeah, being like, local. Yeah, local girl, so like, born in Gloucester. Um, grew up at Forest of Dean, like absolutely love it. 
um, one of the big reasons for coming back to Gloucester. So when I left the sevens programme in 2017, 2018, can't remember, um, I had to pick my club and I went to uni in Bath. So I was like, not sure whether to go back there, like yeah. just away with all my friends. Um, played in Lichfield, which loads of the girls then went to Loughborough. So I was like debating about that. Yeah. And then Worcester and Gloucester and um, Hartbury were my other options. but. Like literally just came back to Hartbury, like you know what it's like going Everyone fits back shirts in. on the wall, like yeah. and went and saw like grandma and granddad, like mum and dad before I went to see Susie at the time who was the coach. Um but yeah, I was just like now nah, it's home, like it just feels like home. Yeah. Um and I absolutely love it. But yeah, like growing up watching Gloucester, obviously like so passionate about it now, like local girl. Yeah. There's a few local girls that play for us, like Kelly Smith, yeah. they are like devastating. Um and yeah, like the girls are just fully bought in. Similar, like some of the girls went to college went to uni around here like have come back or have stayed because they just love it so yeah i think once you go there it's, it's one of those places if you get a chance to go back yeah like, i've always said if i ever get a chance to go back like post rugby yeah i'm going back 100 oh, percent. like yeah. i want past this job that's what i'm after <laughs> so is, i'm um, bucks coach now for the women that's the that's yeah. id so I, that's the little transition i need i need this yeah. But like he's going to play rugby, he might play a few games for Hartbury and then you can coach here yeah. and just get paid past his money. I'll, oh. be, I'll be happy with that. That's all, I, that's all I'm after. I keep oh, telling that as well, he doesn't seem too impressed with it though. Yeah. No, that would be, be good. So good. So what are you um, looking forward to most about getting back out there in two weeks? Season incoming? Just for us, we, we're going into a season, obviously the, the Covid season and, and last season all sort of rolled into one. We had. 15 player changes, whole new coaching group, no pre-season, no real, you know, we had everything thrown at us last year in terms of you fly off leaving, yeah. red cards here, all over the shop, you know, we played like 10 games of 14 men we finished with, it was everything we could have thrown at us. The first team to not have any COVID points until the last week, it was, everything was going against us. So I'm just looking forward to, to going out there as a group of lads that now understand each other, yeah. all have our own goals. That it's all it's all the same thing. We, we know what we want to do. We know what we want to get out of the season. We probably won't talk about it that much publicly because we only really care about the guys in our room. Like that's we know what we want, and if we're getting towards that, then we're happy. Um, but I think it, it's, it's the same thing with us. It's a it's another big season where it's all going to sort of roll around very fast, and that's why we need squads are now smaller because of salary cap reduction. So we're everyone's going to play a role, whether that's the lads we've seen in the last couple of weeks, they're like, you know, you've got 17, 18 year old lads coming straight out of school that are going to have to play. Um, so for us, it's quickly getting them to buy into what we want and they've been great. Like, some of the boys that have stepped over the last few weeks have been unbelievable. Yeah. Um, but hopefully, if we could have any wins, like your guys' first win, that would be, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, not bad. It was a good way to start, to be fair. Yeah. Sunshine, home game, beers flowing after the Hartbury lads, like, yeah, it was yeah. good. Any more like that through the season? or? Well, it's the aim, isn't it, every time we go out, but um, this weekend will be big, like we've got Bristol at home yeah. um, and they're coming off the back of beating Exeter like, quite convincingly in the end, so like big derby day for us that is. So um, say, is that a what, like, rivalry, like, oh, yeah. uh, is that a, do you play for the Rifles Cup as well or not? No, no, no you don't. No. Okay. Just, um, just like, basically we've got an M5 corridor, so there's obviously Exeter, Bristol and Worcester, Worcester yeah. and last year we beat them all home and away. So oh, we nice. were the best in the West. Best in the West, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we might have lost against... No, we did beat Exeter. I can't remember, last game of the season. We yeah. finished above them in the table anyway. That's, 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 that's all that matters, yeah. <laughs> um, so no, like, if best in the West is like a title that we're definitely keen to like keep, keep hold of off, and yeah. keep driving forward. So, fingers crossed. Oh, that's good. Yeah.